Welcome to the Privacy Mentor Podcast, your partner in the fight against identity theft, fraud, and cyber threats. I'm your host, Carrie Kursky. Recently, while reading the December 2021 edition of the AARP Bulletin, I saw an Ask the Fraud Team section. It wasn't the question asked that piqued my interest. It was the response from the fraud team. Oh, and for those of you wondering, yes, I am old enough to receive the AARP Bulletin. I know, it's hard to believe because I look so young. Anyways, getting back to what I'm concerned about in this article, it was not so much the question that was asked, but it's the response that was given. So here's the question that was asked to the fraud team. My girlfriend couldn't connect a new computer printer, so she called a customer support number she found online. They remote accessed our computer via AnyDesk. Now our bank account is missing money. Scammed? Question mark. Here's the response from the Ask the Fraud team. Most likely, you got connected with a fake customer service link created by crooks. Contact your bank immediately to report the theft and have a professional check your computer for malware. Now, I agree with some of the response. I, th- I think it is a good response, but there's something that's missing, and it is a crucial step that could be the difference between recovering and continuing to be taken advantage of by the criminals. So let's break the response down. First, I agree. Most likely, this was a scam. I mean, crooks are known for posting fake tech support phone numbers online. And I also agree that this couple should contact their bank immediately as there is a time limit for reporting fraudulent transactions in a bank account. So the earlier you report it, the faster you're going to recover. But what I don't agree with was the last sentence. And have a professional check your computer for malware. Now, in most cases, if you're concerned your computer's been compromised, it is a good idea to have an expert check it for malware. However, when dealing with remote access software scams, checking for malware, it's a waste of time and money. Why? Remote access software is not malware. You can run antivirus programs all day long, and it is not going to detect remote access software. Remote access software is software that is legitimate and is commonly used by IT professionals so that they can remotely assist their clients. It allows them to take control of the device, typically a laptop or a computer, allows them to look at everything on it, to troubleshoot it, and try to resolve any issues that the person is having. But remote access software, when used for malicious intent, like in this case, it allows them to take control of the device, a computer, and look at everything on it. So again, if you ask a professional to check your computer for malware, you're going to be wasting your money. What you need to do is ask a professional to look for remote access software, or in this case, the AnyDesk program. Because remember in the question, they said that they had them install AnyDesk, so they knew the name of the program. It's an easier one to resolve. So the professional, or even you could do this yourself if you're a little bit computer savvy, you need to look at the list of installed programs. For you Windows users, they're found in the Add or Remove programs. And when the program's found, you simply uninstall it. It really is just that easy. But what if you don't know the name of the remote access program that was installed? Simply review the list of installed programs. When you see a program that you don't recognize, search the name of the program online. When you find one that says it's used for remote access, remove it. Unless it's one that you use for work, usually if you're working remotely, or if your IT person that you work with has installed it so that they can repair or troubleshoot issues you have remotely. You can also check by the date of the program. Now, this is not always accurate, but sometimes the date is the same date as of the suspicious call. So when you're looking through, instead of having to look through all the names of the installed programs, you can just look at the date, which is often the date the program was installed, search by the date of when you had this call, and that might lead you to help narrow down much faster what what the programs are and which one could be malicious. But that's not always the best way to do it, because if you've had a program that had an update on that date, it's going to show. And so you could be deleting a legitimate program. Again, this is why it's a great idea to have a professional come out and help you with this. 
But if you do want to do it yourself, make sure you search online by the name of the program before you go deleting anything. Because if you delete something crucial, your whole device could be in big trouble. So check it out before you delete. Why is it so important to remove the remote access software? Well, the crooks can take control of your computer at any time. Most often, when you go to bed at night, the crooks are simply going to fire up your computer and search for anything sensitive, like your tax return or other documents with sensitive information. Now, for those of you that are a longtime listener, remember when I said storing your passwords in a document or a spreadsheet on your computer was not the best idea? Well, this is why. Because if you have it there and remote access software has been put on your computer, well, now the bad guys are going to be able to find that document, and now they have all your passwords. Or even worse, if you are one of those people that like to store your passwords in your internet browser for convenience, now the crooks can access your online accounts. See how that convenience has paid off for you and also for the crooks? The crooks simply go to your bookmarked or frequently visited web pages, which are most often your financial accounts, And they simply let the browser fill in the password and voila, they are in. Convenient for you, convenient for the criminals. So if someone who you later determined or suspected was a scammer installed remote access software on your computer, you're at risk. So take the time to review the installed programs and remove any remote access programs that you don't use for work or with your computer professional. Now, Just to be clear, you're hearing me say when the crooks install remote access software, it's not something that they can remotely do. Usually what will happen is that you will get a pop-up on your computer saying there's a problem, we've detected viruses, call this number, and they make it look like it's Microsoft, Apple, or an antivirus company. Or you'll get a call from someone pretending to be IT support, or you'll get a call from someone pretending to be from Amazon concerning a recent purchase. Anytime you're talking on the phone with someone and they say, oh, well, we suspect that your computer is infected. Would you mind if we take a look at it? We can check it out for you. Or we can have our tech department look at your computer to see if maybe it's been compromised. At that point, they're going to send you to a web address. And on that web address or that web page, there's going to be a link. You're going to click that link and install that program. What you're installing is remote access software. So it's not a matter of the bad guys just automatically installing this. You are the one who is actually installing it and giving them permission to do it because usually there's a code after you install and you have to authorize them to have access. Again, this is why it is crucial. If you've done anything that sounds familiar to this and you've only checked your computer with antivirus, you could still be compromised. Look for that remote access software. So getting back to the response given in AARP bulletins as the front team, while the advice, it wasn't wrong, it was missing a crucial step. So to the front team at AARP, I think you're doing a great job of keeping everyone informed on how to stay safe from fraud and scams. I simply suggest that the next time you're asked about remote access software, you advise the person to hire a professional to search for malware and unknown remote access software. That's it for today. Thanks so much for listening. If you found this information beneficial, please share it on social media. And more importantly, tell your friends, family, and coworkers to watch out for scams involving remote access software.